Today, I'm going to show you how to use Canva. So I want to talk most, first of all, about the different plans that you can get. So if you go to canva.com and you click the pricing button, you will see the three different plans. For the longest time, I've always just used the free version. I'm cheap and Canva for free does a lot of things. So if you take a look at the different features, there's a lot of things offered with the free account. And for the pro version, I'll show you and I'll log into both of our accounts that have one is free and one is pro, and you can see the difference. Um, you can also sign up for pro just per month. And then if you just want to use it for that month and then turn it off, you can also do that as well. It does allow for more options that we ended up wanting to use. And we use Canva so much that it's definitely been worth it. You can see that you have 60,000 free templates and over 60 million premium, premium stock images, which has really helped us instead of going to the other free sites that you can go to as Pixels and Pixabay to grab free um, stock images that you can use as well. So if you, you, can't, you can stay all free. Uh, there's a few ways that you can log in. You can log in by using your Google account or with your Facebook if you have a team or an assistant that you want a team account, I'd highly recommend using the email password. So that's the one that we have so that multiple people can go in there without needing to worry about having a login with your, because otherwise here you have to give them your login for your personal information. I'll show you the free one that we have. So logging with Facebook, you put in your Facebook credentials and it brings this up. So there is a ton of things that are for free here. There's got different designs you can do, social media, animated social media, logos, posters, videos, presentations, flyers, cards. You can see here, there's quite a bit of things that you can use and it just keeps on going. If you are looking for something specifically, you can just type in the very top the recipe card, or you can say, I want to do a YouTube thumbnail. And then you'll, sh it'll show you the different things that you can do. Um, on the left hand side, you'll see create a design, all your designs, templates, photos, apps, brand kit, design school, you have folders that you can create. Um, so if you click into all your designs, you'll see everything that you've ever created. It'll all be saved in here. So you can see this was used a lot for social media and you can easily change things in and out. You can you choose your own photos. You can type your own text and we really like using, you can grab a template. So if you're looking at doing a Facebook post, you click this. There's a whole bunch of posts already done. So you can use it as it is, or you can grab a post and literally change it to whatever you want. So if you want to use this template, you click use this template. You can change this to new listing and you can put the address 123 Happy Street. And you can see it doesn't fit. So what can we do? It's so easy. Click it around here, stretch it out here, move that around here. You can change the font if you'd like. If you don't like that font, you can pick anything you're looking for. And I want to maybe make it smaller and feature the address. Whatever it is that you're looking, you can say, call Melody Wilson for more info. And you can literally just change whatever you want. So we love this because you already know that it looks good. You just have to change it to your custom information. It does save things automatically. If you want to download it, go to the top right hand corner and click download. And you can see there's a publish to Facebook option as well. So you can directly publish it or you can just click the download button and you just hit download and then it downloads into your um, downloadables, and then you can just upload it there. If you wanted to add more text or photos, I will show you that on here. So for photos, so here you can see it says pro. So it means that if you want to use this image, you have to pay $1.39. Now they're smart because what you can do, let's say I want to get, delete that 
back image and I want a house. So this is free. You can use this. You just drag it. It's there. All good, right? But if you like this, it'll let you drag it, but you can see that it's got a Canva watermark and you can remove it by clicking this and they'll make you pay the $1.39. Now, if you have the pro account, these are all included. So this wouldn't even exist, right? So you can move things around here. You can, so this went to the back so you can have it forward. Play with that a little bit, play with the. So you can see it's really easy to use, user-friendly. You can push, hit the position board and hit forward and then all of a sudden that goes in there. So it's really simple to use really easy to use for social posts. This image size is optimized for Facebook. You can type in text, you can put in videos and backgrounds. And again, things are free. There's a lot of free items here, right? But then there's also paid versions, but you can see there's a lot of options that are free on the side here. And even under photos, there's quite a bit of stuff that's free. Now, when you are looking for something specific, then that's maybe where you'll find an issue of what you like and don't like in terms of images that you wanna use. So it all depends on if you're using that. If you wanna upload, you click the upload button and you can upload an image or video off of your computer and open it and it will show up in here. So you can see, you can enter your logo onto your image as well. You can use your actual listing photo instead of a stock photo and just open it up like this. So it's pretty, it's really easy to use. Um, to the back, right? So you can kind of play with things and make things what you want them to be. You can do a slideshow. There's so many things you can do. Um, you can use folders and you can create them, but again, that's a feature of a pro account. So I'll show you that when I log into the pro account. Elements, there's things you can do. You can enter, put it in a circle. There's another circle. There's so many different options that you can do. You can literally create an image or a, if you go back up to here, here, you can literally hit it, create a design and you could do custom dimensions. Or if you're doing an Instagram post, you can literally just type in Instagram instead of searching and then you can do Instagram post. And then it's got blank canvas for you to use if you don't want to use a template, but they do have a lot of posts that you can see on here that you can literally just put something like this into here and you can then just insert your team logo if you wanted to kind of put that in here to personalize it wherever it makes the most sense. So you kind of just shrink this down and then you're done. Then you can just, your posts are done. You can just download that. And this is an animated post and it will save as an animated post. Now I'm gonna show you the paid version so you can see the difference. So it's gonna log out of this one. This is the paid version that we have. And if you take a look at this one, you'll see that we have folders as an option. And this way I can make sure I have everything in a sorted place and people can see everything and I can quickly find things if I'm looking for something. Um, if you take a look here, you can also look up Zoom backgrounds if you're using Zoom. And this is not paid, this is free. You can also access the Zoom backgrounds, but I just wanted to show that you can put these into folders and that way you're able to kind of see what's going on there. So if you take a look at when you create a design, let's create a social media post. In the free version, there was these little crowns that showed up. It would say free. These are free as if they were free in the regular program because it'll still say on the paid version, it'll still show me when things are pro. So you can still see there's a lot of options for you to use as a free user. We've used it for years free, but if I'm looking for specific 
photo. Let's go into photos. Now, oh, it's showing me it's all free. So yes, this is, okay, here's pro. So it's free for me to use because this is a pro account. So I don't have that image or actually here's a good example. We just looked at this image. This now it comes in completely without the grid lines because it's free. So I can do whatever I want with this one and it shows you all the ones that are pro that you'd like to use. So there's a lot of options as you can see that are not uh, pro that you can use. And we've used it again, like I said, for a lot of years, we didn't need to use that. Even for elements, you can see there's a lot of things you can use here that are free. Um, but if you're looking for something that is pro, then you, you know, you'd have to, the, this, for example, is a pro version. You would be able to use that. You can use certain things, but there's so many other things. So if I put party hat, I'm going to show you, for example, you've got pro party hats, but there's, you've got free ones too. So you can see there's still a lot of options for the free versions. I think there's more free than there is pro on this situation. It just depends on what you're looking to use. And that's why I wouldn't recommend if you're just starting off with Canva, I highly recommend starting off with the free version. And you don't need to have the folders because really they're all going to show up in your designs all on this section here. So you can see it's all here. If you're just starting to use it, you're not going to have a whole lot of things in here. But obviously, as time goes on and progresses, maybe the folders is important to you. However, if you just download everything, you could literally put it in a folder on your uh, laptop or on your desktop and put it into Google Drive. Um, I just wanted to show you one more thing. This is not a paid version. You can use this in the free version. There's a lot of different templates you can use here. And for real estate, you can also use presentations. So you can actually create a listing presentation using any of these for free. So you can see this one literally just says real estate listing presentation. So you can click on here and use the template. And literally all you have to do is swap things out, change them just like I showed you on the social media presentation. And if you wanna see more details on different animations you can do, watch the other video that I create for listing presentations, but you can literally click and change the color. Maybe you don't like this color and you want it to be green. So now you've changed that to green. You can change all these, the, the effects you could literally delete and then you don't have to have that. You can change it to your name. So these are all done for your use to, for free. And if you want stuff that's paid, then obviously you'd have to pay for it. But then again, I would just recommend maybe just doing one month of pay to kind of get that stuff you need. If otherwise, just do the free stuff. And don't forget, click on this top part here to save as listing presentation, whatever name you want to save it as, because it will have a default saving. And when you want to download it, you can download it or you can click present and present it from here or you can share a link or convert it to a PowerPoint. So there's a lot of options here on Canva. We have print that you can do. I've only shown you how to use it digitally, but Canva is a great product. So highly recommend that you check it out for your real estate business. Have a great day.